Hi, you're watching Strangewear, and this is something I never knew I wanted. I've been asked by one of my friends to replace her home computer. Up till now she was using what, 8 or 10 year old all-in-one, uh, which really sucks. It's like a single core Intel Atom PC. Well, I've been asked to replace that and to keep the dimensions as compact as possible. Well, I could have gone with uh, some other all-in-one, but instead I decided to go a slightly different way. Uh, the way of a separate monitor, separate PC. Now, this here is Lenovo ThinkCenter M73 Tiny. And I gotta say this right now, this thing is awesome. Uh, I don't know how old this actually is, but it's rocking a Core i3 uh, Haswell, so like four years old CPU, should be about right. And uh, it's a, the T model with a reduced TDP for like for portable computers, like this one, because if you if you look at this. Uh, it's just pretty much just the size of an ITX board. Uh, of course, that's not what's inside. But it's, pretty, but it's pretty much just the size of an ITX board and it's only like four centimeters at all. So yeah, I can, I can easily imagine I could use a machine like this in my everyday tasks. Of course, you can't really expect any gaming performance, but for a regular daily use PC, for photos, some documents, web browsing, I think this is actually one of the best machines I've ever used for such tasks. So, let's take a look inside. Okay, now opening this, we just unscrew one screw that's holding it here in the back. And then it's just a simple pull. In a really specific way, yeah, there we go. And away goes the front panel. Yeah, here it is. You can see it's a very simple layout. It's just a, one large heatsink for the CPU, a small blower style fan, a hard drive. Originally, this thing had a Seagate laptop thin HDD, 320 gigabytes. I've replaced that with second-hand Intel SSD. This is the 180-gig SSD. And I've also wanted to actually increase memory in this system, but to my surprise I couldn't find any spare sticks of DDR3 memory. This is a laptop format DDR3 memory. You can see there's still one slot left. This is a four gig stick here. So yeah, for the start, this is four gigs, pretty good. And this here is a, it's actually a PCI Express connection, mini PCI Express for a wireless card, which uh, when inserted can then actually pass through this hole here and uh, you can actually attach an antenna to this machine and uh, have a wireless connection. 
Again, to my surprise, I found I did not have any spare PCI Express Wi-Fi cards at hand. And anyway, I don't have the pass-through. So yeah, for now, my friend is actually stuck without Wi-Fi connection, but as far as I know, she doesn't really need it or use it in this PC. And it does have a regular wired connection, so no problems there. <clears throat> All right, I think that's pretty much it for the insides. I've already replaced the thermal compound on the CPU, so my work here is done. So let's close this up and turn it on. So with all the cables connected, uh, our Ethernet port, display output, uh, keyboard and mouse and power, we can turn the system on. I can just barely hear the fan uh, spinning up, but that's it. Actually the hard drive in uh, my main computer behind me is making much more noise than this little PC here. You really, it's pretty much inaudible. And it boots really fast, thanks to this uh, SSD. And uh, let's try opening Spessy. And it's showing me the CPU is sitting at around 40, 42 degrees Celsius, which is pretty much normal idle temperature for SQL chips. <clears throat> Let's run some Indian Heaven hair here. Let's see if it can it'll, if it'll go up a little bit. Now the uh, Heaven benchmark is actually taxing only to uh, the integrated GPU, not for really the CPU cores. The CPU is usually setting it around 30% usage, but uh, yeah, the GPU is being taxed and that's pretty much much what counts here. Uh, let's try opening Firefox. This I don't know here. Yeah, let's run some YouTube video along with it. Yeah, it's taking a little bit a little while to load. Yeah, there's, there's a Jurassic World trailer or something here. And I don't know if you can if the camera can pick it up, but we actually have sound. This is the maximum volume we can get. There's actually a little speaker built right inside the chassis. It's really a tiny one, so it's not gonna give you a great movie performance, but it's just fine for basic tasks. If I need to get some info from a video, I will get that info. And of course in the background, I can hear that. Unigine soundtrack and if I shoot the temperatures now, it's around 63 degrees like I, I can just barely feel this side warming up Now uh, another part of, uh, of the build is of course the monitor and this is a BenQ uh, 22 inch BA monitor uh, it cost me 85 Euro, so it's a very nice price for a monitor like this. Uh, and uh, yeah, I really like it and I love the viewing angles. I mean, even from here, and this is pretty much like 10 degrees uh, viewing angle, I can see the colors, I can see everything. And uh, I actually have two TN panels in my main rig behind me. And I'm really, really tempted to throw them away. Now let's see the temperatures. Okay, we're like 66, 67 degrees Celsius. It seems pretty stable now. All right, yeah. As I said, this is a perfect machine for like everyday tasks. 
so browsing the internet, even some easy games. I actually had the one running here and I've already deleted it. I had the original World of Warcraft, the 1.12 version running here. So yeah, that's a lot of fun, always. Now let's put this one. Yeah, now I can just... Uh, my ears did adjust before, but now I can hear the fan slowing down. And now it's pretty much inaudible. Yeah. All in all, I really, really like this. And that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. Just this beautiful <laughs> little machine. Now, sorry if this video seemed chaotic and uh, it's because I've only had this for two days and I've been able to work at it for like three to four hours. Uh, but I really wanted to share my opinion on this uh, with you guys. And uh, I'm not sure if I'll still have it tomorrow because I might be giving it to my friend or I might not. Depends on her really. I'm not even sure if she's coming to work tomorrow. Also, sorry about the audio quality, uh, but my audio recording solution is kind of busted right now. So I'm forced to use the integrated microphone in the camera. Fingers crossed. Hope it will be fine. That's pretty much it for this video. Oh, I forgot one thing. The price. This whole setup, uh, that means the M73 PC, uh, the SSD, 180GB SSD, and the monitor came to a total of... Two hundred and eighty-one euros. I think it's a pretty nice price for like all in one combo. And if you count in a price of uh, small speakers, I found some uh, genius small wooden genius speakers for about six or seven euros. So that's let's say two two ninety for two hundred ninety euros. You're getting. Uh, compact, uh, power-efficient machine for everyday tasks. I think you can ask for much more. And there's also uh, an external bracket that you can attach to this machine and actually mount it on the back of a VESA-compatible uh, screen. <clears throat> I have ordered a bracket. It will not come for, like, well, I'm hoping tomorrow. And that will make things a lot cleaner on your desk, so the PC will be hidden behind the screen, all the cables will be hidden behind the screen. Yeah, I'm re really looking forward to seeing it like fully assembled, hopefully soon. I think that's it for this video, now for real. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you dislike it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!